All right, we're back for another painting tutorial. Uh, another one of these videos in the Eldar Group of Five that were just released on the channel. Uh, this one is going to be Ulfway. Uh, and I primed him with Chaos Black Spray and then Zenithaled him with Wraithbone. I know it looks like um, Gracier on camera, but I promise you it is in fact Wraithbone. So we're going to start with Skeleton Horde. And this is going to be for his weapons as well as his helmet. We're going to do the uh, his armor, his main color, in black. And so we're starting with this so that if we accidentally make any mistakes with this color, we can just cover them right up with the black. Um, and then I've, as I've said before, if you're wanting to get a want to get smooth, consistent color with your contrast paint, you want long strokes like this. You don't want to be choppy. Um, and on these big flat surfaces, you can run into that problem of choppiness quite a bit. So you just want big long strokes so that you don't get any of that. Just get the back of the weapon here. Make sure the front didn't get dinged while I was doing the others. So, I will let that dry, and then we'll come back, and we'll do the main armor color. Alright, we're back, and the color's all nice and dry. So now we're going to move on to the main armor color, which is going to be Black Templar. And we're going to put this all over his armor. Um, just like all of the Eldar videos that I just released, um, these paint or this paint scheme is not trying to win any prizes. Just trying to make it so that if you want to get your army on the table and not lose those 10 victory points for not having your army fully painted, you don't have to. That's what this aims to achieve, and I think it achieves it just fine. Trying to stick to as much contrast paint as we can. Not 100%, but uh, when we are able, that's what we're doing. I think it speeds up the process of getting an army on the table that looks pretty good. Um, this guy should take me about 15 minutes or so. Each of the other Eldar I've painted so far have also taken me about 15 minutes. And of course if you were painting in uh, painting miniatures like all together, um, assembly line style, it would probably be even quicker when you did the math per miniature. So, I think you could knock out an army in this scheme or any of the schemes in the videos I just released in under a week, for sure. For sure. Of course, depending on how much paint time you have a day, and many factors that will vary person to person, but on average, I think you could get it done So I'm just going to finish up the armor here, making sure we cover all this primer. And then I will let that dry, and then we'll come back and lay down some base coats for our gems. Alright, our black is nice and dry, and I forgot to mention that I was also going to put it on the faceplate there. So I did that. Uh, now we're going to move on to the base coat for our gems, and it's going to be with some plate mail metal from Skill 75. And so we're going to put it on all of the gemstones that we see around this miniature, as well as a couple other details. But we're going to start off by doing it on the gems. We're going to use a contrast paint on these gems, but in order to give it a a shine, and so we didn't have to avoid them all while doing the black, we're just going to uh, paint them in with silver first. So on the sword here, we've got some minuscule ones on this little power pack here. And we'll 
let's see, some more on the leg. Missed a spot of black right there. I'll touch that up during a while one of the other colors is drying. Not a problem. I think that's, oh, oh, no, there's one up here. Okay. Well, and one here. I missed this one. All right, so now there's just a couple other details I'm going to do in this color. The teeth on the chainsword. It's going to be in this color. Oh, and I missed this gemstone right here. And then this little power pack thing right there, whatever that is, do that in silver as well. The only other thing to do is I made a little bit of a mistake when I was putting the silver on. I have a little bit of silver right here on this chainsaw. So I'm just going to take a wet brush and see if I can't scrub that back off. If not, it's not the end of the world. But I would like to try. Cut it off a little bit. It's good enough. Close enough for government work, as they say. Uh, I'm just going to do the eyeballs, I realized, in silver as well. Just get a little bit of that in there. And in there. And there's a gemstone I missed. So, I'm going to let this get nice and dry. And then we will come back and put the actual gemstone color on. Alright, we're back and our silver is all nice and dry. And now we're going to use some Achelian green to put on the gemstones. So these ones that have the housings around them, so like this one right here, and the ones on the sword, um, we're just going to paint the middle of these. We want to keep the housing silver. But the rest of them, we're going to paint completely with this color. And we're also going to get his eyes at the same time. I realized I didn't put silver on this gemstone over here. I'm just going to put some blue on it. No one will ever know. Except all of you who watch the video. Just don't tell anybody. We'll be all good. So yeah, I'm just going to go around. Finding all these spots that we put silver on. Except for that right there. and Except for the chainsaw teeth. And, uh, and apply this color. So, seems to be a common tertiary color for uh, Ulfway. So that's why I chose it. Honestly, though, gemstones could be almost any color, so do whatever you, you feel is going to look the best for you. Okay. There's just the two on the other side. The three on the other side. Oh, four! Oh, there's one up there. Alright, so there's a couple left. There we go. Alright. So now, we're just gonna... Oh, missed a couple more. There we go. Alright, so now we're gonna go jump straight into the next color, because it's a quick one. We're just gonna take some Blood Angel red and then do the plume on his helmet. Just like that. So then I will let this dry completely and I'll come back with some null oil and then we'll call him done. All right, we're back, and I forgot we have one more color to do before the Null Noil, and that's Retributor Armor. And we're just going to do a couple little details on him with this. Uh, first, we're going to do the hilt of the chain sword, or of the sword, rather, just because we don't want the whole sword to be the same color. This will break it up a little bit and uh, make the blade being that color feel more natural. I'm going to do the pommel down here as well. 
And then I'm also going to get this little buckle right here. Uh, and then we're going to get the buckles where they appear on the rest of the miniature. So there's one over here. And then there's some down here on the ankles. There we go. Alrighty. So now, we are actually done with all the other colors, except for the Null Noil. Um, I will let this gold dry, and then I'll come back, do the Null Noil for real this time. All right, we're back, and it's time for our last color, our trusty Null Noil. So we're going to put this on the metallic areas. So the we'll start with the chain sword teeth here. We'll go along here like that. And the other side. Just wipe off any that you get on the main area of the chain sword. Then I'm going to put it in a couple spots on the, the dude itself, just to give the miniature a little bit more contrast. It won't be super noticeable because it is black on black here, but uh, just enough to matter. I'm going to put it in here, not on the helmet there. I'm going to put it on the hilt here the sword and down here. Again. Down here. All these buckles on his legs. And back of the in here. And then on this part right in there. So right about now you should be seeing some pictures of him on his base. Not a crazy base, but again, not a crazy paint job. We just want to get the army on the table and get ourselves those 10 points so we don't lose a game for a silly reason. Or at least not this silly reason. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it for this guy. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, there are four other Eldar videos. If you haven't already seen them, you should go check them out for the other four main craft worlds. Uh, and of course, there's a ton of other videos to go check out as well. Uh, if you like this kind of thing, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time.